if you don't allow something to happen in your mind, it won't manifest. Well, mm. I would say I even that if you're, you know, a kid in 1939 in Poland <laughs> and Nazis show up, I don't think they could pray away the fact that they got thrown there's, into a, a concentration camp. There's different, you know. I think if you're, I think if you're a Hutu that lived in, in, or a Tutsi that lived in Rwanda in 1992 and they cut your legs and, and your arms off, I don't think that they pray, They could pray that there's away. Different Nobody prayed that life. away in their life. Yeah, you live in yeah. Sierra Leone and you get your arm blown off from, from <laughs> well, hunting yeah, for dynamite. I, I, just think, I think you got to take some, I think you got to, I think you got to take some action too, right? Yeah, of course. I think actually, I think you got to take an action and that's like the most important thing is, okay. is you have to take some action. Michael you know what I'm saying? doesn't believe in anything. 12 laws of the universe. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, 12, 12 rules. Hold on. There's 12 ru rules of the universe, unless you're one of the if one. If you believed you could escape, you could probably escape. Uh, well, I see. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Escape to where? Because I think. Hold on. I think if you're. I think if you're one of the 100 million people. I, I mean, I'm believing that there's a big T-bone steak in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, oh, maybe, there. So maybe they hear this and they're gonna get it postmated. I mean, I'm just like, like if you're. If you're Watch somebody one out here. Some yeah, other guys in the green room. Like, oh, like, like oh, my, 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 my question. Question is if you're one of the 115 a thousand Inuit Indians that died on Is Hispaniola when Christopher Columbus showed up, did they not pray hard enough? Or the hundred million people that died from the wheat famines from Ch the, under Mao Zedong in the 1900s, is that because they didn't pray enough? They like, didn't just, manifest they enough. Didn't ma they didn't no, manifest I enough believe, wheat? Is that what happened? I, I just don't know. Like so, wheat. See, here's, I just, here's my problem with all this, because like, I'm totally on board with everything yeah. you say, and I, it's like the metaphysical stuff and the, the energies and the chakras and all the, you know, the, the secret and manifest it and it'll come to you kind of thing. I mean, I, I get it. I hate like not having that sort of like that you have a reason like that work for you. Like yeah, you're saying that's your that's that's your, that's, you that's can't, your thing. Like, oh, I'll yeah. and, those things. Right. But, 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 but by the way, you you got into this whole thing because you had a brother in law who committed suicide. Yes. 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 I mean, there's a motivation well, yeah, yeah. similar well, to like, what, but you, what, I'm saying, what I'm saying is like, I mean, I find that the harder I work, the luckier I tend to get. Yes. Right? So, sure. I mean, sure. those things. So, but, but you're also believing and believing in yourself and putting in more hard work. And right. That, right. Well, it's like then. So the other thing is Carly. Like, the other thing is like when you, if you show up to work and you get 110 if you show up to work you're still if you show up to work you're still going to make your paycheck if you show up to work you're still going to make your paycheck if you show up to work and get 110 percent you're going to make more money I don't know Carly I, I just seem to get more attention when I could bench press 350 yeah. pounds and started okay. making started that. making yeah. seven yeah. figures all of a sudden yeah. women started paying attention to me yeah. and it really had nothing to do with fucking prayer had nothing to do with fucking prayer but did you wake up every day and get excited to work out and get excited to be for sure I just I, 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 I just and you thought about you. the better body and I, well, the better well, life that you well, can have. Well, well, I, well I understand what you're saying as far as like positive motivation and like re, re, like re, re, realization. I don't think women gave a fuck about my energy because they didn't give a fuck about it when I was 22. They didn't but give a fuck about my energy. Poor Manifestation Michael, is not about other people. Manifestation is about you better than you. No, I agree. Look, my, what I'm saying is there was no energy. Like, no one gave a shit. But when I when I took the, when I when I took action to improve myself, the world changed for me. Exactly. But I took action. Exactly. Yeah, that's fucking that's energy, Michael. Can I, can, can I say something? Go ahead, go ahead, Jeff, go ahead. Can I say something going off of what Michael said? So Michael said something about women not paying a shit, paying attention to him, giving her shit. Like, Thanks. sorry, <laughs> giving a shit until he's in his forties, right? Okay. So, Duh. okay. So you guys don't pay attention. Like when you guys were in your twenties, you didn't go after guys in their twenties because like they didn't really have shit. They're living like off their mom and dad's. But money. they had good energy though, Tiff. They, they had good energy. energy. They had good vibes. So I'm but, giving them some energy. But, but eh. still fucking them though. The, the no one, none Never. of us who gave a shit. Excuse me. When? None of us gave a shit about guys that are in their 20s because they don't have status. Michael's in his 40s. Michael has his money. He has his status. And guess what, Michael? Did women start paying attention to you once you had everything and your money? Oh, when, your I got value? Out of, when I got out of the military and I started working finance, yeah, I just noticed. But it wasn't even about money. It was but it just was more like about I, your confidence. But no, for sure. But the confidence came from me taking action, from sure. me consistently seeing a pattern of success in my life. And then also when I would speak to people, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be like asking them permission to listen to what I was saying. I understood that whatever I said was deserved to be heard, and people recognized that. But you that was an action. But that was an action, though. That wasn't manifestation. That was an action. It was an action, but in an extent, you decided.
decided that you wanted to be better. You decided to wake up and work hard every day. Uh, okay, and you well, well, well I understand that. Why well, I understand that? So the, that's the, energy the re- that you're giving the, to your body. When, I, your when I chisel, when I chisel out my reality, the rest of the world, uh, women do not care about my struggle. They wait at the finish line and they fuck they the winners. winners. Like, that's yeah. essentially that's essentially what happens. That and the problem is, while that doesn't feel right, if I look around the world, that's all I see. I don't see anything other than that. In fact, there's a, there's almost no exception to that rule. That's essentially what happens. I have found that women are like they find a guy that they're madly attracted to and they don't look at the work he put into himself. They just see that the fact that they're attracted to him. They don't appreciate it either. Well, they don't see the work that the the female put in to get where she's at either. I think if you find somebody of value, we all put in good work Go ahead, Kinsley. So what you were explaining, Michael, actually does fall into manifestation because like who you believe that you are because you were like, Mm -hmm. I'm going to not ask permission for people to listen to me. You were creating yourself, and that is manifestation. Mm-hmm. It's doing you were, the like, work. Telling the world who you are. You're right, like, but I think you're, you're saying that after the fact, you. and then calling it manifestation. Well, I got, no, that's, I, so here's, it here's, all goes together. Like, like, again, I, I do not think the people thing. of Hiroshima and Nagasaki no. manifested that nuke that got dropped. I don't think they did. Get it together, bro. This is totally different. But it's but it is. It's like, man, can we get a nuke today, please? Emperor Hirohito will not fucking surrender. Nuke us, please. There's a, a God forbid. I'll, uh, yeah, let me let me see if I can bring this Jesus. full circle here for you. Thank okay. You. So Sexy like Jesus. a lot of a lot of Jesus. whenever I listen to women say, "Oh, I believe in ghosts and chakras and whatever and energies and Brazilian power crystals and all that stuff," I, I kind of I kind of have to like take it with a grain of salt it's, because it's because what it is is a superstition and there is actually a power in superstition a belief the belief is powerful. The actual superstition yes. is bullshit. Okay. It's placebo but the effect. but yeah it, it is. There's this need to believe. So a, a like I, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give a, uh, a shout out to uh, a guy that I never really give a shout out to. Uh, uh, Coach Greg Adams here. Coach Greg Adams has this saying. It says, "Hope is not a strategy." Okay, and that's really what he's saying. Is hope is not a strategy. But I will say this: is that hope is necessary. Imagination is necessary. We belief that you can be better than you are today. Visualization is necessary, is necessary. because the, that That's it's it's just like having gross. like a, a lucky rabbit's foot or some sort of fetish or something like that where you're believing in this thing, but it's actually the power of the belief. It's not the actual thing. It's no, you're the, right. it's I like manifested these breast right. implants. Yes, I, yeah. manifested yeah. I manifested it. I manifested this BBL. I did it. You actually can't manifest it. But the but the imagination and the hope is necessary because without it, like you don't you don't if you would never go and try to build a bridge across the river. You would never try to go and do anything more than what you're doing right now. So unless you wanted to, so, so hope. I mean, unless you want to be stagnant and just you know sit in one oh, place. So you mean like it you're takes energy to do something? No, no. Do it's inside, of, inside of you, but it doesn't broadcast. Here's what's, ha- here's, here's what's happening. Here's, here's, here's what's happening. We're both. Here's what's here's what's happening. We're both. We're both describing like a successful campaign, but you guys are giving your name to it, and I'm giving my name to it. That's all that's happening. The thing is, my name shows up in the dictionary, and yours is like manifestation. Like, no, manifestation legitimately means I think of things and then quantum yeah. fucking particles yeah. come together and the Lamborghini just appears in Yo, front of me. Really That's literally what it means. Not, but it really does sometimes. Yeah, but if you read in the dictionary, that is what it means. You gotta manifest, but do the work. Yes. No, but then, sometimes hold on. Literally... But when you manifest and do the work, you know what that's called? It's called not manifesting. It's not manifesting. <laughs> that's what it's called. Shit. But there's, there's a conception that you have to believe that there's there can be something better and then you take action to go do it. Do okay, but sometimes, yeah, like, literally, I would be like, I will receive. A so and so tip tonight, and then guess what happens? Every single uh, for that. sure. And those people, and those sixty-one right. million people and that even, died from the Spanish flu in nineteen nineteen, oh they manifested that. Oh, They're like, man, I want to die from this. Sixty percent of hey guys, hey guys, I want you to consider this. Sixty percent of the human population died of the bubonic plague in the fifteenth century. We are privileged in the opportunity that we have nowadays. Ten percent. Ten percent of the human population was killed by Genghis Khan at one point. They manifested that. Wait, 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 I don't manifest death, that. but I'm still gonna die. What privilege, though? <laughs> I mean, I'm just the privilege, curious. The privilege of how simple we live nowadays. We get to literally just wake up, go to work if we want to. Yes. We don't even have to go to if we want to. I, called, I have to go to work. Okay. It's called a luxury oh, belief. To work, but like, like <laughs> you have the luxury to do that or not do you, that. Exactly, you like we're privileged in today's age. Yes, where women we can, are for sure. In life, like we can, like everything is just so easy. Oh, I agree with you. We're far away from a survival scenario, which allows us to have these conversations, and it allows four percent of the of millennials to believe the Earth is flat because they don't have because (laughs) there's no one strenuously explaining to them that the the world is the way that it is. What do you What do you think? What do you you think? I I, I want to hear from Dee and Christiana. 